here at TYT, we've been recently on the show discussing uh, why they might have decided at the time to bomb Hiroshima and Nagasaki um, and what the moral calculation was, what the military calculation was. Uh, and we largely think that while they might have thought that it was necessary, uh, it certainly seems like a horrific thing to do. But not everybody agrees with that. John Bolton, who you might remember, uh, the big neocon, he believes that it was A-OK. -okay. Let's watch. You wrote a very uh, strong piece on the president's visit to Hiroshima. Um, your thoughts on what you do perceive as, as an apology? Look, he, he uh, is a very subtle speaker. He didn't use the words, I apologize, but most of his apology tour stops in the last seven years. He hasn't said that either. He essentially said Harry Truman missed the moral point uh, about using nuclear weapons, uh, as if Barack Obama thought that there was an alternative. Let's be clear, what Truman did, in my view, was not just militarily correct, uh, but it was morally correct as well. Winston Churchill had said that to invade and conquer the Japanese home islands would require, Churchill's phrase, effusions of American blood. And to save that, Truman ordered the dropping of the first two atomic bombs. It was the right thing to do. If Ronald Reagan had gone to Hiroshima, he would have made that point. Uh, yeah, Ronald yeah. Reagan. Okay, so I think this is one thing we could all agree on. What a horrible person John Bolton and, and, and people like him are. The Bush named him UN ambassador. He's supposed to be a diplomat. Mm -hmm. Morally correct, he said. So again, when you drop a nuclear bomb, a hundred thousand people are incinerated at the same time within three seconds. Okay. One, one of the one of those the, a Japanese guys who uh, Obama talked to, who who has worked on a memorial there, said what he remembers most. You can he's on audio tapes is the uh, babies blood pouring out of babies crying for their mothers. That's what was morally. And, and, yeah, and that was some of the babies that had survived. Uh, for but remember, that in, within a hundred thousand civilians at, in any city at any time. There is babies everywhere, and they explode. Their heads explode. They're, they're, or some of them survive with blood all over them, uh, and not just babies but kids because they just saw their parents incinerated in that moment. And to say that that's morally correct is so morally bankrupt that it's just it's unfathomable. Yeah. It, it, now it is. It's a it's a debate we just had on the program on as to whether it, it was the right decision or not the right decision. But what kind of a monster, instead of saying, God, it was heart-wrenching, it was horrible, but we had to do it, instead says, oh, yeah, 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 it was morally correct, yeah. Because you get the sense from John Bolton that not for one second did he care about a single Japanese civilian there. Like, they don't exist. They're not human beings. You know, It's one thing to say, hey, I, I don't want to lose American soldiers. Again, in a debate we just had on the program, that's what I said, right? It's another thing to say, I don't want to lose a single American soldier. <laughs> Who cares about babies' heads exploding? Civilians murdered, 100,000 at a time. Killed, whatever word you want to go. Great! That is morally correct. What kind of a monster yeah. says that? What kind of monster cheerleads it? I mean, again, it goes back to this point about normalizing stuff. We had, he will not, if America did it, it was great. Yeah. If America did it and it was a president that he thinks is okay. Yeah. That it was great, and that's it. The book is closed. Like we are, like we are immune from committing the human atrocities that other people have committed when we're just like everybody else. And that, oh. That's the core to their philosophy. I mean, you were talking about the not caring. I mean, it's barely conjecture. They care less. They lack empathy. He doesn't see the Japanese as the same as the uh, as Americans, and. Uh, perhaps even worse than him simply looking back before his time and saying they did the right thing to do the worst thing that we have ever done as a species, is that in his time in government, he did what whatever was in his power to put us into as many wars as possible. I mean, he was pushing for, for Iraq and, and all those things, and they knew some of the consequences. Some of them they didn't know. They were worse than, than we were saying at the time even. But he knew what was going to happen in terms of those civilian casualties, and it was irrelevant. It was all about moving pieces around on a board and what long-term effect it could have on oil prices and strategic positions that we could then deploy out of it. They never considered the civilians. They didn't care about it. And so, I mean, going back the 70 years, going back to his time in government, this is not a human. This is a vampire, and this is how they function. So what he's, he's saying is that we don't have any standards. We have standards for our enemies, and right, our enemies right. are when our enemies do what we do, they're animals, and we have the moral right to eviscerate them. 
But when we do it, it's moral because we're doing it. It's like Nixon. It's like they're talking like Nixon. So they're maniacs. So everyone, when, when uh, the Al-Qaeda flew those jets into the Twin Towers, we all saw, we all saw the moral bankruptcy of that. You're going to kill people who have nothing to do with anything. They're just going to work. And you're going to kill innocent people. And the horror of that, 3,000 of them. But here we are killing over 100,000 babies. Those are all grown-ups pretty much. And those, these babies, old people, any kind, doesn't matter. And we're justifying. We're saying, rah, rah, he's saying we did. It's moral when we do it. But when they do it on a much lower scale, it's such a barbaric thing that it traumatizes us. And we start two, three, four wars over it. But when we do it, we're like, it's the good Christian thing to do. So that's all bullshit. That's just bullshit. That's just tribalism. That's, that's more tribalism. That's more bullshit. And that's a double standard. And if you have real integrity and real dignity, you'll hold yourself to the same standard you hold your enemies. Yeah. Uh, real quick on John Bolton, uh, when Donald Trump gave his great uh, foreign policy speech in uh, April where he referred to uh, Tanzania as Tanzania, um, uh, uh, <laughs> there was uh, John Bolton calling it strong, impressive, and on target. Uh, and then when uh, John Bolton was on... Uh, when Donald Trump was on uh, Meet the Press uh, last year, as it was early on in the campaign, asked to name who his foreign policy guys were, uh, he couldn't come up with one at first. Uh, his go-to experts for national security said he'd probably had two or three. Chuck Todd pressed him. Uh, first one Trump mentioned was John Bolton. He's, you know, a tough cookie, knows what he's talking about. Jesus. So, so that's what you're going to get. I mean, first of all, on mustache alone. But that's what you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> in a Donald Trump administration is exactly. guys like that in meaningful decision-making yeah. roles. And uh, when, not guys like that, that guy. And I've just got to end on two points. One, John made such a great point because it's one thing to say, hey, we're already in the middle of this disastrous World War II. What were we going to do? It's another thing to be like John Bolton and to start those wars. He, he helped start the Iraq war. He was dying for an Iran war, still is. And if Trump wins, he might get that Iran war. And then after he starts the war, then he'll say, oh, well, what could we do? We were in the middle of a war. Yeah. Well, one thing you could do is not start the war, yeah. right? And so, and then he mentioned at the end there, oh, Obama on his apology tour, he cares about civilians who were burned to death and incinerated. Yeah. Loser, right? The apology well, tour where he's never Never said, apologized. Never said yeah. I'm sorry. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, never right. once, yeah. never once. Yeah. Which, right. by the way, say it. Yeah. <laughs> you say it. it, you should be sorry. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's okay to say, hey, we, we are so sorry for your loss, right? Not, just to, to be human for a second, I think Obama did a, a great job here. He really did. He did more than other presidents have. Of course we're good. Right. But of course they're going to blame him for apologies. But then he added at the end, uh, uh, Reagan wouldn't have done that. He would have gone and told him it was a great. Yeah. So, so that's the thing you're proud of, that your beloved Ronald Reagan would have gone to a site where 100,000 people were incinerated and rubbed it in their face. And by the way. Go, yeah, I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we murdered your families. Well, he, yeah, I'm Ronald Reagan. And that's the guy he's proud of. He gave that also, speech on the bridge. That was rubbing it in the face. Remember back during the campaign the, where the, the civil rights workers had been killed, and that was where he, I believe he launched his Oh, yeah, his, no, no, no. His That's yeah, he, his version of it. Where he, who who he, launched his Ronald campaign? Ronald Reagan launched oh, his right. campaign. In Philadelphia, Mississippi. Right. In Philadelphia, Mississippi, and where civil rights uh, workers had been murdered, okay? He launched his campaign in that tiny little town that had no other distinction than the fact that they killed civil rights workers. And he didn't go there to, to yell at them and say that would criticize them and say that was wrong. He did it uh, saying he gave a speech on states' rights. Exactly. Which impl implies well, that states, they were right. States' rights means, which uh, means uh, hey, black, blacks don't vote. That's what states' right. rights is meant in this So country. Reagan was a monster, so maybe Bolton was right. He yeah. might have rubbed it in their um, face.